Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. We've got that seasonable warmth, but we don't have the seasonable humidity. That starts to change tomorrow. The temperatures are going to be warm, but you're going to notice it start to feel sticky. And then by late tomorrow night, we could see a few passing showers and thunder showers. Taking a live look right now over Harrisburg. We are bathed in blue. You can see a very swollen and muddy Susquehanna right now from all of that runoff from what was left of the heavy rain we had late last week. 84 degrees right now in the capital city feels fantastic out there with dew points holding in the mid 50s. All is quiet on live local eight radar, but as we look off to the northeast, we do we have a few isolated showers near Allentown and Hazleton. I do expect they'll stay off to our north and to the east, unlike yesterday evening where parts of Lancaster County, York County got hit by a stray shower. So mostly sunny skies, pleasant and comfortable with temperatures starting to drop into the upper 70s after sunset. Lows tonight will be seasonally mild, but it's still going to feel great out there with lows in the low to mid 60s. Then for tomorrow, Tomorrow's the transitional day. The stickiness returns. Highs will be up near 90 degrees. And as we get past sunset, we'll start to see the thunder shower chances rise. But the best chance for those will hold off until midnight into very early Saturday morning. Made it to 85 for our high today after morning low of 65. So a pretty on par day with the exception of the humidity feeling more like mid fall or mid September out there. Here's a look at the temperatures. We're at 83 degrees in Lebanon, 84. If you're joining us from Landisburg, dew points still sitting comfortably in the 50s with a few spots into the 60s. But there's that subtropical humidity building back off to our west. And you can see that surge of moisture reaching all the way towards the Canadian border. And that's where we find the center of our next storm. It's going to work its way to the east and the leading edge of this rain and this incoming front We'll start pushing into the valleys. We approach sunset tomorrow, so still comfortable as we are on the drier and cooler side of that front until we head on into tomorrow evening. So I do expect we'll see a mostly sunny start, but you'll notice as we go through the day, the humidity rising out there and the clouds will thicken up as we head through the afternoon and evening hours. Bulk of the rain should still be off to our west until we head past sunset. So a few passing showers, rounds of showers, maybe even some steady rain at times through Saturday night. Now the weekend ahead looks like it is going to be wet, but it's not going to be a washout. We'll have rounds of showers and also some passing thunder showers and storms through the day on Saturday, also during the day on Sunday. Now there is a low chance some areas could get hit repeatedly over and over again with the passing rain that could lead to some localized minor flooding, and we could also see a few isolated strong thunderstorms through the day on Saturday. Keeping you updated on the tropics, here is Hurricane Ernesto. You can see how large it is. Right now it's a Category 1 storm with wind speeds near the eye wall up to 85 miles per hour. It's expected to remain off the East Coast, but because it is so large in size, it is going to have some impacts along the East Coast if you are heading towards down the shore because we could see some rough surf and also some rip currents. It looks likely that will be dry through Saturday, but Saturday night into Sunday at the beach, the rain chances and thunderstorm chances will start to rise. Be prepared for on and off showers and thunder showers for both Saturday and Sunday. This type of weather will linger in the forecast for your Monday. I do expect drier weather, more comfortable weather will be around mid next week, but notice during the next 10 days, no intense heat with highs staying below 90 degrees for the next week and a half.